What is up guys? It's AC Kicks 11 back again with another video and welcome to my channel. I talk about sneakers, customs, and streetwear. So basically, welcome to my new series, Soul Talk. So basically, this series will rotate around me talking about stories about sneakers, giving you guys my opinion on new sneaker releases and streetwear releases, topics in the sneaker community, whether it be giving my opinion on this or problems in the community, and lastly, tips and advices for sneakers. So welcome to my first episode of Soul Talk. So basically, the topic for this video is why I hate Converse. So oh basically, my God. let's start the story with how I began with Converse. So basically, Converse to me was like the next level from Skechers. Since I didn't know a lot about sneakers, I didn't know about Nike, those type of shoes before. I was more of a Skechers guy because it was, it was all over the commercials and that technology to give air to your feet was like, to me as a child was like, BLINK MOTHERFUCKER! It was like that. I make creepy faces, don't I? So basically when I came to the Philippines, Converse was my go-to shoe. The reason why I liked Converse in the first place was because of Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Paul Walker in those Fast and the Furious movies, and you know, a lot of people like Converse at that time. And I was like, I gotta have like, I gotta have a pair of these when I was a kid. So basically in my whole life, I had three Converses, two low tops and one high top. So basically the, my first two were during my kid phase. My first low top and high top, it was around for my sixth grade until my second year. Because second year was the time when I got into the sneaker game. And basically, those two sneakers really did a number on me. As in, they were so uncomfortable to my feet when I was a kid. They were hard as wood. Like, this shoe didn't have any cushion. And they didn't even last long. Like, spending 3,000 pesos, 4,000, 5,000 on a pair of shoes that won't even last three months on you, that took a blow on me because those things wore out even if I didn't use it. It was like basically decaying at that point. And I never bought one since. But when it was the summer of grade 11, I asked my parents to buy Converse instead of Vans because I was trying to diversify my collection and for some reason I wanted the Converse that Paul Walker had just because I was getting driving lessons at that time. I was like, I don't know but you know, my mind trying to connect it, that style of Paul Walker to myself driving to give me confidence because I haven't gotten that much of experience in driving but I know I'm shit at this point. So basically, I traded up Vans for a Converse and, and these are the pairs. These pairs of Converse All-Star. And now they're basically my beaters now. Throughout my driving lesson, these shoes were tearing up. I wasn't even that hard on them. I didn't straight them. I treated them as I would a Jordan. I wanted these shoes to last longer. But even taking care of these shoes didn't go do me any good. Like end of summer, these things were having gaping holes on the side. Like this thing, this rubber on the side gave out. You could put your finger right here. On me chan! Okay. I traded Vans for this and then and my Vans off cab shoe lasted longer than these. My Vans off cab shoe lasted like four years for me. And the only reason why I had to give them up because they didn't fit me anymore. I was really disappointed with these converses. But for these regular joints, spending 4K of my money and getting to only use them for three months really led me to a disappointment for Converse. To me, getting a Vans or any other shoe than a Converse, if it's not a collab, is much more better is better than spent burning 4,000 pesos in three months. They were comfortable at first, but my fat ass broke them out. So basically guys, that is the story. I hope you guys liked it. 
So basically, guys, this is my opinion and should not and should be only my opinion. It should not bring hate to Converse. It should not bring hate to the Converse brand or anything else. Maybe it's a manufacturing problem or something. I don't know. But that is my story. My opinion should not dictate what your opinion should be. My opinion should give you more information towards making your own opinion. And in that point, making your own choices is what I want for you guys when it comes to sneakers. Because this is my story, it may be different for you. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys like this first episode of Soul Talk. Till next time.